as you have seen in the video there are two types of the pre-stressing or uh, two types uh, pre-stressing can be done in two ways that is a tendon can be placed concentric and tendons can be placed eccentric first of all we will be dealing with the concentric tendons the tendons are said to be concentric when the cg of the tendon coincides with the cg of the cross section as you can see in the example here you can see in this cross section this is the cg of the tendon cg of the tendon coincides with the cg of the uh, cross section so such type of prestressing is called as a concentric uh, prestressing or a tendons are placed concentric the magnitude of prestressing force is p kilo newton okay and if we consider any cross section as you can see here by a red line or let's let us say the cross section is considered over here so throughout the length of the member at any cross section the cross section will be subjected to a compressive stress only and the magnitude of those stress will be equal to p by a where p is the pre-stressing force and a is the cross sectional area it is shown this is the stress diagram and you can say if this is the cross section the stress diagram is uniform having the magnitude of p by a and why this is so because the tendons are placed concentric that's it okay but generally the applied load and dead load of the beam induces a tensile stress at the bottom most fiber okay those stresses are the bending stresses we know that and those stresses will be compressive in nature at the top fiber and tensile in nature at the bottom fiber which stresses bending stresses due to which live load or dead load correct so the motor of pre-stressing is to eliminate the generation of tensile stresses so ye jo bhi tensile stresses generate ho rahe bottom most fiber mein inko hame eradicate karna hai inko hame cancel karna hai aur ye hum kaise kar sakte hain wahan pe pre compressive stresses dal ke करेक्ट तो पी प्री कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस अगर मुझे वहां पे डालने हैं और ये टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस को मुझे अगर कैंसिल करना है तो आई नीड टू गो विथ एसेंट्रिक टेंडन सी दिस इज दिसेंट्रिक टेंडन वेन द टेंडन आर प्लेस्ड एसेंट्रिकली यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम दैट हियर द प्रेस्ट्रेसिंग फोर्स और द टेंडन आर प्लेस्ड समॉट डिस्टेंस बिलो द न्यूट्रल एक्सिस एंड दिस डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सी जी ऑफ द स्टील फ्रॉम द CG of the cross section is called as eccentricity and denoted by small e. This eccentricity may be below the neutral axis or may be above the neutral axis depending on the scenario. Don't worry, we will be dealing with such kind of problem. But here, for the simplification or simplicity, we are considering uh, the simple example where the tendons are kept below the uh, below the uh, neutral axis at a constant eccentricity e. okay and also you can see here here is the cross section in this cross section you can see this is the cg of the tendons where the force p is acting and this is the eccentricity e from the neutral axis the distance of the cg of the tendon okay so in first case we have seen when the tendons were concentric the compressive stresses were induced now here the tendon is kept eccentric what would happen so of course compressive stress will exist that is the p by a why because if for this p force is acting here or here or here but it is acting over a cross section area we need to take the direct stress induced due to the p equal to p by a but then will there be any difference will it make some difference if it is acting at the cg or it is acting away from the cg fir difference kya rahega dono mein of course there should be a difference wahan pe difference rahega agar p force cg se dur act ho raha hai at an eccentricity e then there will be a bending stresses correct you can see here the tendons are acting at this eccentricity e अब क्योंकि ये यहां पे एक्ट हो रहा है अब इमेजिन करो एट दिस एसेंट्रिसिटी न्यूट्रल एक्सिस के नीचे दोनों तरफ से ये मेंबर को प्रेस किया जा रहा है बाय अ फोर्स पी और ये न्यूट्रल एक्सिस पे नहीं है तो ये मेंबर कुछ इस तरह से सैग होगा करेक्ट 
hog this is called as a hogging moment since the pressurizing force is kept below the neutral axis it would induce a hogging moment correct aur ye hogging moment ka asar kya hoga that ye uh, beam ka top fiber will be subjected to the tensile stress and bottom fiber will be subjected to compressive stress so wo stress kitna hoga bending uh, bending stress bending stress kitna hoga so we know that by bending formula it will be a m by i into y or you can say i by y is nothing but z that is the section modulus m by z okay to z hai yahan pe section modulus m kitna rahega to of course m will be moment induced due to the eccentricity of the p so p into e will be the moment so bending stress bending stress would be pe by zt just as you can see here this is pe pe is nothing but m m by zt that is the top section modulus and similarly and also note that here the sign is shown negative why because ye hogging moment induce karega aur hogging moment ki wajah se top fiber will be subjected to the tensile stresses definitely okay and bottom fiber are subjected to the compressive stresses correct and bottom stresses will be moment upon section modulus again that is a pe by zb zb is the bottom section modulus so these are the stresses which would induced in cross section when the tendons are kept eccentric so addition of this stress that is a resultant stress would be like this ab ise yaad kar lo this formula and this formula p by a is the direct stress which will be positive 100% because it is compressive in nature and second one is a uh, bending stresses that is pe by z that is m by z ab ye bending stress hai to jab bhi pressurizing force neutral axis ke niche lagega टॉप फाइबर पे टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस आएगा हमेशा याद रखना सो टॉप फाइबर पे आपको पी बाय पी बाय माइनस पीई बाय सेट्टी लेना है याद रखना एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट बॉटम फाइबर पे कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस आएगा सो पी बाय ए प्लस पीई बाय सेट भी लेना है सो दिस आर द स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेन टेंडेंस आर प्लेस Descent. So these are the stresses uh, when the tendons are eccentric. We have seen just now uh, top uh, top stresses means top fiber stresses. It will be P by A direct stress and uh, minus P E by Z T because it is tensile in nature because moment is hogging moment. Okay, so it will be uh, the stresses would be like this. That is P by A into So, 1 minus e into yt upon i x x just zt is uh, spreaded as i by y and similarly the bottom uh, fiber stresses will be p by a plus p e by z b and equation will be like this so these are the stresses in top fiber and stresses in bottom fiber when the tendons are placed eccentric okay now the resultant stresses at this section when the eccentric prestressing is done when the tendon is placed eccentric just as we have seen here so there we have seen the stresses which would induced into the cross section only due to the prestressing force but what if the member is subjected to live load also and member is subjected to uh, dead load also so let small q be the intensity of the live load and small g be the intensity of the dead load so live load and dead load is uniformly distributed over the span of the member and let m suffix q and m suffix g represents the moment uh, corresponding to the live load and dead load okay so mq is the moment due to the live load mg is the moment due to the dead load as you can see here the previous example only but this time it is subjected to somewhat uniformly distributed load okay so mq which will be the live load moment 
as the since the beam is simply supported and q will be w l square by 8 where value of w is q q l square by 8 similarly mg will be the g l square by 8 so mg is the moment due to the dead load and mq is the moment due to the light load so this much will be the moment then stress distribution due to the eccentric pre-stressing eccentric pre-stressing bhi hai dead load bhi hai live load bhi hai ab kya hoga so when the he, as we can see here, the pre-stressing is done by eccentric tendon and this time tendons are lying below the neutral axis. So, moment induced due to the pre-stressing will be hogging. Hogging in nature. Just thodi dhe pehle dekha tha. It will be hogging in nature. If this is the beam, pre-stressing mein hogging nature. Ab yehi beam pe, iske khud ka self weight aur is par live load bhi act ho raha hai. So, these loaded uh, loads are acting in the direction of gravity. Of course. Now, this is sag. Hoga. There will be a sagging. As the beam is sagging, the bottommost fiber now are subjected to the tensile stresses and topmost fiber are subjected to the compressive stresses. Okay? So, bending stresses which would induce due to this dead load moment and live load moment will be uh, negative at bottom and will be positive at top. Okay, is it clear? Ye itna hi funda hai. Agar ye clear hai, to okay. Pre-stressing ke uh, analysis uh, of any cross section, hum aaram se kar sakte hain. So let us see here. Of course, cross section yahan pe dikhaya gaya hai, and this is the CG of the pre-stressing tendon. Yahan pe P apply kiya gaya hai, and this is the, if A is the cross section area. So stresses. Pehla stress aega direct stress. Ye to aega hi aega, which will be equal to P by A. Or is the stress corresponding stress because uh, tendons are eccentrically pre-stressed. So there will be a PE by Z. Top fiber stress will be PE by ZT. Bottom fiber stress will be PE by ZB. Top will be negative because tensile stress will be there. Bottom will be positive as you can see in figure. These two stress distribution are only due to the pre-stressing. Okay. Now let us see what kind of stress would be developed if we consider a dead load stresses so here you can see dead load stresses will be equal to mg by zt mg is the dead load moment zt is again top cross a top modulus of section okay or qk load were acting in the direction of the gravity there will be a sagging SLA top comp uh, top fiber will be subjected to the compressive stress is a positive rakha gaya and bottom fiber will be subjected to tensile stress is a negative rakha gaya hai. Bhulna mat. Sign conventions bhulna mat. Dhyan se dekho. And live load is also acting in the same way. So, uske liye bhi same diagram aega. It will be MQ by ZT and MQ by ZB. Dono bhi positive hai above the neutral axis. Dono bhi negative hai below the neutral axis. Why? Kyunki dono bhi act kar rahe under gravity. Aur dono ke wajah se sagging ho raha hai. But pre-stress in ke ulta hai why pre-stress ke wajah se induced hone wala moment hogging hai okay so it is very simple now the picture is very much clear then what will be the resultant stresses resultant stresses would be like this top <coughs> sorry top uh, fiber stresses will be direct stress minus bending stress due to the eccentric pre-stressing that is p by minus p by zt plus mg by zt plus mq by zt okay these are the top stresses, top fiber stresses, and similarly, bottom fiber stresses is the sum of all these. This is the sum of all these is bottom fiber stresses that is P by Z T plus P by A plus P E by Z B minus M G by Z B minus M Q by Z B. So these are the resultant stresses when the tendons are eccentric. Subjected to dead load, subjected to live load. So the resultant stresses at top and bottom fiber can be written like this as shown here. So FT that is the stresses at top would be written like P by A minus P E by ZT. Jo abhi humne thodi der pehle dekha. So I am not going to repeat it. Just yaad rakho. Because abhi bhalai hi simple lage lekin baad mein yaad nahi aata hai. So these are the top stresses. And this equation gives us a bottom stresses. 
डोंट वरी इफ यू फॉरगेट दिस इक्वेशन टेंशन नहीं लेना है इक्वेशन रटने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस डायग्राम डोंट रिमेम्बर इक्वेशन एनी वन ऑफ द इक्वेशन एफ टी एंड एफ बी डोंट वरी इफ यू इफ यू आर अकस्टम विद दिस डायग्राम विच इज शोन ऑन दिस स्लाइड इफ यू कैन सी हियर जस्ट मगर दिस डायग्राम अगर ये डायग्राम आती है तो ये स्ट्रेसेस रखने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दी स्ट्रेसेस